In this video, we'll represent numbers up to 20. Representing numbers will help you understand what they mean. So, in real life, we normally use money when it comes to numbers or objects, counting objects, shopping items, but I will use money because it's a common thing. So, I will try and represent different amounts. I have nine pounds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How do I write that amount? So I'll draw it with pound sign in front. Nine. So I have nine pounds. If I have 10 pounds, which is what I have now. How would I write this? What would I do? I would put them together, collect them together, and exchange them for a 10 pound note. So I will write the amount as 10 so I have 10 pounds and I'll exchange these nine these 10 pound coins for this a 10 pound note where do I place it I'll place it under this column which we call the tens So I have no single pound coins or units, but I have just a 10 pound note. So that's where its place is. And this is where the place for the pound coins is. If I have 11 pounds, then that's going to go again here because all the coins up to nine would go there and I'll change that to one so I've got one pound coined and one ten pound note because that's where the tens go and that's where the units go so that gives me 11 pounds now I have 12 and I have now 17 so that needs to change to 7 so the units have changed to 7 whereas the tens haven't changed I haven't added any 10 pounds or 10 pound notes there I was then given another 3 pounds so what's happened now in the units column? I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've made a block of ten, which needs to go under the tens. There are no units any longer. So I will exchange this for a ten pound note. The, making this into two tens now. Uh, do I have any pound coins or any five pound notes or two pound coins? No, so there are no units. So I've got two tens and zero units, making this all 20 pounds. I will now do the same thing I've done with money with cubes. So I will take away the pound sign and the money notes. So what do I have? I have no units, so I'm not going to put any cubes in here. And I've got two tens. So that's a block of ten and another block of ten. Just like the ten pound coin, which is made of ten, ten pound note, which is made of ten pound coins. This block is made of 
10 single cubes. So I will put them there. That's two of the tens. Now, if the amount is smaller, how would I represent 15? So how many tens do you have? Just one. How many units? That is five of them. If I have 11, that means a 10 and just one unit. What would happen if I had just nine? So nine cubes. Where would I put the nine? Under the tens or the units? It goes under the units because I haven't got 10 yet. So nine is smaller than 10. So do I need to keep this here? No. What do I do with this? I add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got nine units and I keep that blank. No numbers or digits in there, just the nine. If I have 10 going back to that, so we have 10, I can't keep all of these units in there. They've got to join together to make a block of 10 and go where the tens are. So there we have 10 single cubes being put together to make a block of 10. So now I've made a block of 10, but I don't have any units. Do I leave it like this? No, I can't, because otherwise that means just one cube. And that's not the case. I've got 10 cubes here. One block of 10, but 10 cubes. So I need to put that zero to hold the place. This is how we represent numbers up to 20.